friends and fans. Uh, today I'm at Bergische Reisemobile uh, in Burscheid, close to Cologne, and I'm presenting you the Adria Matrix Plus 670 DC, uh, latest version. And we have a room tour and a walk around. The first thing you notice here is the new door. I'm stepping back here to give you better image. So you see there is the new waste basket in the door and what you can see and that is a uh, feature of the plus series. It's the no step floor double flooring and in this year the water tank actually is in the middle of the car just here in front of the rear axle and uh, that gives you a better weight proportion for the front and the rear axle. Um, also new the colors inside uh, which is a matte white and that is uh, looks like maple and uh, we can see in the website. Now here we have the 670 DC plus matrix that is the garage which is yeah, not that, not that big, but big enough for features like small foldable bicycles, um, chair, table, everything you need for camping. You can fit in here. We have a 10 volt, uh, 10 ampere, 12 volt outlet and a 230 outlet. And uh, same door on the other side. And now we have the view to the brand new and beautiful back. Um, this is the, the new designed back of the Matrix Plus with the automotive lighting, which re looks really, really nice. And if you have a closer look, you can actually see that the rear is not straight. It's bended a bit. So it, it gives it a very dynamic view. And uh, with this black element under the rear lights, you can see the parking sensors well hid. And that looks really nice. Beautiful, beautiful look. <coughs> From the other side, we have the garage then toilet access <coughs> gas compartment <coughs> excuse me two bottles and no sharp edges closed compartment very nice there's a mono control installed. Truma vent, water inlet. The car is 749 long, 2 meters 30 wide, and has a total height of 2 meters 89. Three thousand five hundred kilos and four thousand four hundred kilos, depending on the configuration. And uh, yeah, beautiful looking car. This one is with the hundred forty horsepower engine, six gear manual shift. And this is the entrance. You can see here. There's another uh, storage flap here for smaller items. Very nice. On the other side, we have the access to the electro block. There's the second battery 
as well as the uh, fuse panel. And then we have the inside view. Here we go. And this is actually, I mean, I'm uh, one meter is 87. And this is very airy here. The room concept is really nice. We have this beautiful sky roof. <coughs> some extra shelf space over the driver and the passenger seat as well as on the sides yeah you can see that and then you have overhead compartments not that big but big enough for maps books whatever you want to put in there there's the shade for the sky roof also on this side, same flap, same storage compartment. You have reading lights here. There you go. And on the other side as well. Then you have the opposite passenger seating group, which is really nice, foldable table which is big enough to seat six people. And you have seat belts on either side <coughs> to accommodate two more passengers for driving. And then we have two cupboards on the top of each seating group on both sides. Fairly big as well. And we have the pulled down, oops, uh, sorry, the pull down bed, which is, and that's also a new feature for this year, uh, sitting on rails. Now you can see, and you can pull it fairly down. So you don't actually need a ladder to enter the bed. <coughs> then we turn to the kitchen. Kitchen is fairly big. You can see here. We have a three burner stove. Then we have above the stove another shelf and here's some we can put here some paper through this lid some kitchen paper then we have above the kitchen oh, too fast <laughs> lights and as well as two 230 power outlets you can see here the indirect lighting then there is a a fan which is pulling out the air from cooking <coughs> a fairly deep sink with a nice cover and two fairly big cupboards above the cooking area and then we have on the other side a mount for the TV which can hold up up to 32 inches and the Thetford a tower fridge with a big freezer compartment that's a slim tower and there is another storage area above the fridge which is really deep above the kitchen we have a 
pretty wide hickey with a turning knob to open it. And now we have a view into the shower compartment. And that is something I really like. We have a big rain shower head, a small uh, hickey on the roof. And this looks actually like stone. And that is also new this year. They have this separation here in the wall. I really like the the shelf area here, which allows you to, to put some stuff here while you park. And there's another small shelf here, so you can stow your shower gel, things like that. There's the wheel compartment. And <coughs> on the other side, we have the, the toilet and the sink, and we close that door now. So you can actually separate the, the bed bathroom area from the living room. So here we have the typical Thedward uh, toilet. We have a, a really nice sink. There is the storage behind that, which is decently big. And we have another storage behind that door, which is really big and enough storage for most of your toiletries. And another 230 power outlet on the top. Both rooms, toilet as well as shower, have a uh, roof hickey. One big, one very small. Uh, that is really nice. And now we come back to the bedroom. Let me move around. In this case, we have a queen size bed with three cupboards over the headrest, two reading lights, and two very nice uh, drawers, not drawers, wardrobes on each side illuminated and they actually turn the lights automatically when you open the door. Tall enough to hang some skirts, shirts or maybe a suit. And then we have on this side another mounting for a, a second TV and there is a little compartment below. <coughs> And that is actually the other side of the shelf which we found in the shower compartment. I think big enough to store some extra stuff in there as well. So every single space is used very well. And finally we get <coughs> another small storage area under the footrest or foot end of the bed where you can stow some extra shoes, things like that. And in addition, we have another door on this side, which slides here to close the toilet off the uh, bedroom. If you are uh, sleeping still here, and your partner wants to go to the bathroom. Uh, you can have a full closed bathroom. So you can actually have a little privacy when you're in the bathroom. All right, my friends. That is it for this wonderful car. Thank you once more for Bergische Reisemobile in Burscheid. Please hit like if you enjoyed that video, subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss another video from me. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day.